Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. In today's video, I'm sharing some of my favorite Pioneer Woman inspired recipes. Now you guys, I am a huge fan of the Pioneer Woman, but over the years, I've learned how to take her recipes and adapt them to fit my family's tastes. So that's exactly what I'm gonna share with you today. First up is Taco Ranch Chicken Chili. This dish is perfect on a cold night and it's so easy to throw together. And second, I'm going to make Honey Lime Salsa Verde Chicken. This delicious recipe is so versatile, you can use it for almost anything. Before we get started, hit that red subscribe button. Now let's get cooking. Today, I'm using about two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts and these are actually still frozen, that's totally fine. You don't have to thaw them out first. I'm also using lots of beans in this chili. First, I'm gonna use two cans of these organic chili beans in sauce. So these have some spices in there as well, they're very tasty. Then I'm also using one can of cannellini beans, which are basically white kidney beans. Next, I'm going to use one can of mild Rotel tomatoes. These are tomatoes and green chilies. I'm using the mild, but if you'd like, you can use the spicy ones. You're also going to need about a third of a cup of taco seasoning. You could make your own, you could use low sodium, or store-bought is just fine. And the same goes for the ranch seasoning. You could make your own or use the store-bought stuff. And this is about a quarter cup. And finally, I'm going to add one medium onion to the chili as well, and I'm going to finally dice it. And you also might want some salt and pepper to taste. And now for the toppings. You could add some green onion or some cilantro. That would be delicious. You could also do some avocado, some freshly squeezed lime juice. I really like tortilla chips and cheddar cheese on mine. And of course, a big dollop of sour cream. Time to get cooking. I'm gonna start by prepping my onion. Now I'm actually gonna use my handy dandy chopper here to make sure my onion is very finely diced. I'm actually gonna cook this chili on high for just four hours, so I wanna make sure that my onions cook completely through. I do not want crunchy onions in my chili. I always get a lot of questions about my chopper, so I'll go ahead and leave a link to it in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. But if you don't have one, no worries. You can go ahead and just finely dice it with your knife. But I really like my chopper. Not only does it make it fast and easy, but all of the onions end up nice and uniform and very professional looking. Which, to tell you the truth, I'm not very good at with a regular knife. And as an added bonus, it also keeps my eyes from getting all watery from the onion. And just like that, perfectly cut onion. So now I'm gonna set my onions aside and start opening up all of my cans. Now when it comes to the chili beans, you definitely do not need to drain those. And the same goes for the Rotella tomatoes. You don't have to drain them at all. But I am gonna go ahead and drain my white beans. I suppose you don't have to, but that's just how I do it. Now all you have to do is add everything to the crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken first. Up next, I'm going to sprinkle all of the taco seasoning and the ranch powder, followed by the finely diced onions, the chili beans, both cans, and the can of cannellini beans. And lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes and about one cup of water. Now if you like your chili on the thicker side, you may wanna add just half a cup. So next, I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a stir. I wanna make sure that the chicken is completely submerged so it doesn't dry out. I'm gonna place my lid on my crock pot and set it to cook on high for four hours or until the chicken is completely cooked and shreddable. The next step is to go ahead and remove the chicken from the crock pot. I like to just put it in a separate dish and shred it up. And for this, I like to keep kind of larger chunks of chicken and not completely shredded. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my shredded chicken back into the crock pot and stir it up. And now would be a good time to test for seasoning, just to see if you want any more salt or pepper. I ended up adding just a little more salt to mine. Then once it's cooled down enough, you can dig in. To mine, I'm gonna go ahead and add some shredded cheddar cheese, some sour cream, plenty of tortilla chips and green onions. And my favorite part is to add a little bit of freshly squeezed lime juice. This really adds a nice brightness to the dish. Now 
now let's make that honey lime salsa verde chicken. Here's what you need to make this delicious but simple dish. First off, I have some boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and this is just over two pounds. I'm gonna need some fresh lime juice, a purple onion, some honey. This is salsa verde, and this is a seven ounce can. Then I have lots of spices. I have cumin, smoked paprika, and chili powder. And then salt and pepper. Now once these are done, I'm actually going to be making them into some tacos. And I'm gonna be using my favorite corn tortillas. And these are actually the uncooked variety. So you have to quickly, you know, in 60 seconds, cook them. But these are really good and super fresh tasting. But for my kids, I'm gonna be putting this into a flour tortilla and making quesadillas. Because I have some picky eaters in my family, but if I put it into a quesadilla, they are more likely to eat it because they love quesadillas. All right, so I started by adding my raw chicken to my slow cooker. Now you definitely could use frozen chicken if that's what you've got. Now to that, I'm gonna go ahead and dump all the rest of the ingredients on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my can of salsa verde, and this is the mild variety, um, but if you wanna use spicy, you could go ahead and do that. Also, if you have this in a jar and on a can, that would work fine too. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the seven ounce can of the mild salsa verde right on top of the chicken. There we go. And now comes all the spices. Now this dish, is not actually very spicy heat-wise, but it is full of flavor. So to this I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. Right in there. And then half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then half a teaspoon of cumin. All right, next comes one and a half teaspoons of salt. and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And then a good teaspoon of garlic powder. You could definitely use fresh garlic if that's what you've got, but this is just keeping it easy. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of honey. This is gonna make it nice and sweet and it's a little bit spicy. All right, next I'm going to juice two limes and that's gonna be about half a cup of fresh lime juice. Okay, so I just finished putting all that fresh lime juice in there and it is smelling good already. That chili powder with the honey and the fresh lime juice, smelling good. So now I'm gonna get to chopping my purple onion here. Or is it a red onion? I don't know either. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and chop half of it and put it in with the chicken. And the other half I'm gonna save for later and I'm gonna put that on top of my tacos. So I'm gonna be using my food chopper for this. And I'm going, this food chopper comes with uh, larger chunks or smaller chunks, and I'm gonna use the smaller size. So to get this onion to fit in there, I just have to quarter it. And let's place it right in there. And squish it down. Ta-da! Look at that finely diced onion. Can you see that in there? That makes it so easy. Check it out. Perfectly, finely diced onions. I could have never done it that nice or that fast just with this. So, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put half of this in there and save the other half. So I'm just gonna give this a quick stir. Spread that out everywhere. So now, because my chicken is raw, it's gonna cook a little bit faster. So I could put this on high for two to four hours, 
or I could put it on low for six to seven hours, but dinner's in a few hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and set mine on high for two hours. All right, guys, here it is. It's all shredded up. This took about five hours until it was tender enough to shred, and actually, my lovely husband shredded it up for me because I was at Target. So anyway, he shredded it up and he left it in kind of uh, bigger chunks and then he stuck it back in the sauce and it's just been staying warm until we're ready to eat it. So before I build my tacos, I have to cook them because I really like this kind where it's uncooked. They are so fresh and delicious. So I really just have to cook them about 30 seconds on each side and then I can build my taco. So it's a little bit thicker than your regular corn tortilla would be, but they really hold together well. And they're gluten free. So these two I'm gonna make into tacos, and then this one right here, I'm going to make into a quesadilla for one of the kids. So these take only about 30 seconds aside, and they're not gonna get too dark. Take some cilantro, and toss it on there, add some nice color. Just for garnish, this, this part is optional. You could use parsley if you're not a fan of cilantro. Looks like our quesadilla is done. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the tortillas off and we'll build our tacos. So I'm just gonna take some of this meat here. I want some of that yummy juice, but I don't want too much so my tortilla gets soggy. Put a little bit of cheese on there. Some salsa. A little bit of sour cream on there. Some of our chopped up onion that we reserved. And some cilantro. All right, there we go. We have our honey lime salsa verde chicken tacos and the quesadilla version. Now you give it a try. It is so yummy. I'll take my lime, squirt a little lime juice on there. You're gonna love it. Mm -hmm. 